an exquisite brindavana crafted by sri raghavendra sri raghavendra had proclaimed in advance that his brindavana pravesh will take place after 2 years 2 months and 2 days his identification of the holy place for his entry into brindavana the amazement he had caused to siddhi masood khan and his grace in venkanna with divan's post have all been seen in detail in part 1 he entered into penance in the panchamukhi cave only after enlightening how his brindavana should be fashioned the particular stone to be used for it and where it had to be brought from after completion of his meditation when he had a look at the brindavana that had been sculpted he observed the brindavana has no doubt been chiseled out skillfully but it has not been sculpted sculptured out of the stone i had mentioned about pinpointing the stone on which sri rama had sat to be used for the brindavana readers may recall these covered ex- extensively in part 1 it may not be incorrect to surmise that uh, sri raghavendra had with the deliberate intent caused a different stone to be brought in the first instance so that the brindavana to be carved out of it could be reserved for sri vadindra tirtha thus gracing with foresight his uh, purvashrama great grandson who had occupied the pita as the fifth one after him in his lineage sri raghavendra it could therefore be construed has the extraordinary power to turn even our small mistakes into his grace for something good provided there is soulful devotion from our side by the grace of sri hari he can accomplish anything his paramaguru sri vijayendra had demonstrated his knowledge and proficiency in all the 64 arts sri raghavendra though possessing himself such skills there were not many occasions for him unlike his revered mentor to prove his mastery over those in udupi sri raghavendra had crafted a lovely santana gopala krishna idol like sri vijayendra who had created numerous such icons demonstrating that as one belonging to the monastic order of sri madhvacharya he could carry it out with ease with the blessings of that great preceptor and of those occupying his sri madhvacharya's august seat after him sri raghavendra himself could have sculpted his brindavana since he had earlier molded in gold a krishna vigraha and crafted in stone a miniature brindavana too yes this is not found mention anywhere in my writings thus far as it is well nigh impossible to include everything in one volume and since such awe inspiring episodes have to be necessarily spread over several publications thus opening up the avenue for me to be releasing more parts of sri raghavendra mahime the miniature brindavana fashioned by sri raghavendra was a handy one designed with the purpose to be fit to be carried during his missionary tours such brindavanas though of stone can get life infused into those that is endowed with sanctified potence when the mrittika of great saints and spiritually exalted ones are placed inside along with salagramas symbolic of sri hari sri raghavendra had consecrated in that small sized brindavana the mrittikas of many holy personages starting with sri padmanabha tirtha and ending with sri sudindra tirtha and was doing daily puja to the brindavana hence along with the puja idols like those of sri moolarama he was carrying the miniature brindavana too during his travel to places information about this brindavana is not however furnished in sri raghavendra vijayam perhaps if all the 16 chapters of mahakavi narayana char's work had been ava- available to us it could have been unearthed in the chapters now lost to posterity but if one were to question about such possibility there is indubitable validation for such surmise of finding its mention in the portion lost as irretrievable as the brindavana sculpted by sri raghavendra is still an existing reality that can be had darshan of 
readers may be baffled that it is not to be seen in mantralaya where the mool brindavana of shri raghavendra shri vadindra teerthas brindavana as also those of many others of that lineage are existent yes we have to now journey to the place of its existence elsewhere shri raghavendra in his purvashrama days had a sister venkatamba and a brother by name guru rajachar shri guru rajachar had five grandsons and four of those had adorned the exalted seat of shri raghavendra as shri yogindra shri surindra shri sumatindra and shri upendra shri raghavendra along with the samsthana vigrahas to which he had performed puja had entrusted to shri yogindra before his brindavana pradesh pravesh the miniature brindavana too the one sculpted by him with instructions to carry it with him during his sanchara for performing daily puja to it unceasingly in 1671 after the brindavana pravesh of shri raghavendra shri yogindra carried that miniature brindavana with him to the places he was visiting the successive pita tibatis after shri yogindra followed suit and the reverential object was thus on the move along with the samsthana puja vigrahas shri raghavendra had occupied the exalted pita for about 48 years from 1623 to 1671 shri sumatindra from 1692 to 1725 shri shubendra from 1799 to 1835 and shri suyamindra from 1933 to 1967 reckoning on the basis of those who had been in pontificate for over 30 years shri sumatindra by virtue of his long tenure could undertake many tours and during one of his journeys when he had come to a particular place shri raghavendra appeared in his dream and enlightened him on the following lines sumatindra the three of you after me have been doing puja in the proper way to the brindavana fashioned and consecrated by me as advised by me you have been taking it with you even during your sanchara swami it has been a privilege and a blessing for us now at the spot where you are camping the brindavana should be left where should i leave it swami whom should i it be entrusted to swami you will have another dream and act according to that i shall do accordingly swami the dream dissipated at that point the next day in the early hours shri sumati indra had another dream this time it was shri anjaneya who appeared in the dream Shri Sumati Indra was brimming with joy at the words of Shri Anjaneya heard in the dream. On the morrow, the pontiff asked the staff of the mat, "Has Ragappa arrived? When he comes, please ask him to see me." In a tone of urgency, it may be in- intriguing as to who this Ragappa is. Yes, this Ragappa's grandfather was a blessed person in every sense. When he had asked Shri Raghavendra to grace him. the fulfillment of his long felt desire those around him had jeered at him for his idiocy and at asking something quixotic and different from the materialistic cravings of the mundane ones the learned pandits of the place thought can one doing the errand of fetching water for the shrimat ever entertain a craving for attaining something beyond his reach that does not before his status to even taking for granted that shri raghavendra is bountiful in extending his grace to his ardent devotees one of them said since he is not mentally equipped to think rationally he has supplicated such insensible demand in part 1 we have seen about this ragapas grandsire he was an epitome of guru bhakti at its best and with that kind of devotion one can achieve anything he was peerless in his devotion towards his master and when we move on to the next chapter i can visualize readers exclaiming oh is it that person